Hello, and welcome back to Road Trivia, the once-a-day road trip trivia quiz. Today's episode is number 742. The category is Brainy Tuesday, number 36. Brainy Tuesday is the once-a-week difficult trivia quiz that we have, similar to the pub quiz on Friday, because it's 21 random questions from random categories, but this quiz is much more difficult, so good luck. Question number one. According to Genesis 5 in the Old Testament, the son of Enoch and the grandfather of Noah died at the ripe old age of 969. What was the name of this biblical patriarch? The answer is Methuselah. Question 2. First played in France during the 16th and 17th centuries, what is the outdoor game played with mallets and balls and the object of which is to drive the balls through a series of hoops or wickets in rotation? That lawn game is called croquet. Question number three. Transmitted by fleas and infamously known for its 1348 outbreak, what disease still appears in the southwest United States, primarily in prairie dogs and ground squirrels, and is caused by the bacterium Yersinia pestis? The answer is the bubonic plague. Question number four. Featuring entries like Anne Rutledge, Lucinda Matlock, and Petite the Poet, what is the name of the 1915 Edgar Lee Masters series of short poetic characterizations in the form of epitaphs from an Illinois graveyard? That collection of poems is called the Spoon River Anthology. Question number five. The first volume is variously translated as The Settling of Accounts or Revenge. The second part is entitled The National Socialist Movement. What is the title of this political manifesto dictated to Rudolf Hess by Adolf Hitler? Hitler's manifesto was called Mein Kampf. Question number six. It was founded in the 11th century by Menko Kapak, but lost over 90% of its population in the 16th century due to a civil war and its conquest by the Spanish. What is this Peruvian city once the capital of the Incan Empire? It could be spelled either way, but the answer is Cusco. Question number seven. Featuring a bellman, a boot black, a bonnet maker, a barrister, a broker, a billiard maker, a banker, a beaver, a baker, and a butcher, what is the title of the Lewis Carroll poem about the search for an animal that turns out to be a boojum, you see? The answer is The Hunting of the Snark. Question number eight. A type of celestial or heavenly being originating in ancient Judaism, according to the traditions, what type of angel is the highest rank in Christian angelology and the fifth rank of ten in the Jewish angelic hierarchy?
The highest court of angels is the Seraphim, or a Seraph. Question number nine. Developed by Swiss musician Emile Jacques Dalcroze around 1900, what is the name of the practice of coordinated bodily movement as an aid to musical development that shares its name with a 1980s band headed by Annie Lennox? The movement and the band are called Eurythmics. Question number 10. What was the name of the public statement issued by the British government in 1917 announcing support for the establishment of a national home for the Jewish people in Palestine that led to the foundation of Israel in 1948? That was called the Balfour Declaration. Question number 11. Known for his lead drumming on such tracks as Happy Jack and The Kids Are Alright, what was the name of the outrageous practical joker and drummer of The Who, who is often regarded as one of the greatest drummers of all time? The answer is Keith Moon. Question number 12. In 1856, ending the Crimean War, in 1815 after Napoleon's defeat at Waterloo, in 1763 to end the Seven Years' War, and in 1783 to settle the American Revolution, these treaties were signed in what major city? They were all signed in Paris, France. Question 13. In 1993, Andrew Wiles at Princeton announced a proof of this theorem which had remained unproven for 300 years. What is this famous theorem postulated by a 17th century French mathematician? The answer is Fermat's Last Theorem. Question 14. At about 35 miles long and 25 miles wide, it's the third largest freshwater lake in the U.S., but it is extremely shallow with a maximum depth of only 15 feet. What is this Florida lake whose name means Plenty Big Water in Seminole? The answer is Lake Okeechobee. Question 15. Founded by Henry VII for his 1485 coronation, they are now purely a ceremonial force. Who are these royal bodyguards known for their presence in the Tower of London and their robust physiques? They have several names. One of them is the Yeoman Warders, also the Beefeaters. Question number 16. He was the son of Erebus, who conveyed on his boat the souls of the dead across the rivers of the lower regions of Hades. What was the name of this man, the namesake of Pluto's largest moon? The answer is Sharon. Question 17. Passed in 1920 over President Wilson's veto, it defined the word intoxicating to mean any beverage containing over one half of 1% of alcohol. 
What was this piece of supplemental legislation to the 18th Amendment called? Every movie or show about prohibition talks about the Volstead Act. Question 18. Fought near what is now Acre in eastern Greece, what was the name of the 31 BC naval battle in which the forces of Octavian defeated the combined forces of Mark Antony and Cleopatra? The answer is the Battle of Actium. Question 19. Founded around 1050 by Harold III, it became a national capital in 1299. After a 1624 fire, Christian IV, who renamed it Christiana, rebuilt it, but in 1925 it took back its old name. What is this Norwegian capital? The answer is Oslo. Question 20. From the Latin for bundle of rods, this ideology denies all rights to the individuals in their relations with the state. What is this form of government called, examples of which are the totalitarian national movements of Mussolini and Hitler? That form of government is known as fascism. Alright, that is it for today. Thank you for watching today's episode of Road Trippia. And thank you, thank you, thank you. Just today, right before I recorded this video, we hit 4,000 subscribers. Which means we hit 1,000 last January 26th and 4,000 January the 11th so less than a year to get 3,000 more subscribers that is huge so let's keep it up if you know somebody who likes trivia feel free to share these videos with them send a link send the YouTube channel page post it on your social media anything like that the more people that see this the more subscribers we get and the bigger and better this channel gets I appreciate it thank you very much here is Question 21, a little bit easier for the tiebreaker for Brainy Tuesday. Due to its location between the Mesabi Range and Pennsylvania coal and oil fields, it became an industrial center, and it was here that J.D. Rockefeller began his oil company. What is this city on the Cuyahoga River that is home to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame? The city on the Cuyahoga River that is home to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame is Cleveland, Ohio. Prepare yourselves for more Ohio trivia coming up because towards the end of this year when we leave the UK, our next destination is Dayton, Ohio. I don't know much about Ohio, but I know it's not very big, so it's probably just a few hours from Cleveland. It's close to Cincinnati and to Columbus, not too far from Indianapolis, Indiana. So there's going to be a lot more trivia from stuff around the Ohio area as I start to read and research and learn more about it. So thank you for sticking with us. Have a nice day.